Welcome back. This is week two. Um, I planted these seeds about two weeks ago, almost to the day, I'm pretty sure. Um, the lettuce is looking a little stringy, but we'll plant it anyways and see what happens. I'm sure it'll be perfect for uh, just planting it as a seedling. Look at these uh, cucumbers back here. We're going to have a ton of cucumber plants going on. Uh, the corn, obviously, is just busting out of here. I mean, look at this thing. We're going to plant these. They look very healthy. And uh, the bean is ready to go. I mean, look at the... Uh, it's kind of stretched here, but that's because the light's so high. I'll probably adjust it lower um, as close as I can get to the top of that plastic. Um, and then... Uh, but look at this. The the nodules or like the nodes are, are very close together here, so... That's going to be pretty good for transplanting. So I'm going to go ahead and transplant these into the greenhouse. I'll take the corn and the beans with me, and I'm going to let everything else develop. As you can see, the basil, I think basil takes longer to sprout anyways, but it's looking pretty good. It's starting to put on its second set of leaves here. Um, that's awesome. These are looking very, very healthy. Um, very nice. No no sign of root rot or, or anything like that. No rot on the stems. Uh, on anything here actually not even on the bean look at that totally healthy maybe a little bit of brown but not really that's plantable that's super healthy um, even this exposed root here from the corn definitely no root rot let's check out the mycorrhizae on this corn see how it's doing Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. Okay, so you want to see what mycorrhizae looks like? That's a perfect example. Look at that. Look at that mycorrhizae. Holy mackerel. That thing is inoculated. Okay, so mycorrhizae, as you can see, it just grew roots on its roots. That's just insane. Look at this thing. Okay, so I would say that's ready to go. So, um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and plant it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and transplant this corn. Um, we're going to go ahead and put it right there. And uh, you can see I planted a bunch of new pepper plants. Uh, I got this six pack, uh, one each of these peppers. You got some. Caribbean, Serrano, Habanero, Jalapeno, Cayenne King, and Super Chili F. I don't know what that F stands for, but you can go ahead and fill that in at your leisure. Um, Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and plant it right here. Without destroying everything else. Definitely want to make sure the roots are, you know, at the bottom. Just cover that thing up and let it go to work. Alright guys, you have a good one. That's how I transplant my corn. Very simple. Aquaponics, super easy. Have a good one guys. Make it a great dang day.